morning. I'm Barb Crowder, and I'm one of the officers of the Illinois Judges Association. As you know, 2020 is the 100th anniversary of the women's right to vote, and we are continuing our video conferences with John Lupton, the executive director of the Illinois Supreme Court Historic Preservation Commission, on this subject of women getting the right to vote. John, um, what can you tell me about the changing tides after women in Illinois first finally got a law that allowed them to vote? Well, the task wasn't quite done yet. Uh, you know, women were allowed the right to vote in presidential elections in Illinois, but they still could not vote for governor, congressman, state representatives. So there was still a little bit of work to do, and they continued marching and um, protesting to get that right to vote. What world event perhaps helped the women finally get through and get the right to vote? Uh, world War I was occurring at this time. And um, even though we hear about Rosie the Riveters during World War II, there were quite a few of them in World War I as well, as women were taking men's jobs as they went off to fight the war in Europe. How did that impact the women's trying to get the right to vote? Well, it gave them more agency. Uh, you know, the fact, um, you know, Woodrow Wilson gave a speech where he said, you know, shall we admit uh, women only to a partnership of suffering and sacrifice? but not a partnership of privilege and right. So Wilson was kind of a lukewarm supporter of women's suffrage before World War I, but during World War I, he became much more of an active supporter. And did he then give speeches more favoring the passage of an amendment? Yes, absolutely. And then um, uh, he gave his, the, the speech that I mentioned in 1918, uh, but at that time, the Senate didn't have enough votes to pass the amendment. So next year, when it went in eight, uh, uh, 1919, when it went into the uh, Illinois House, there was an Illinois representative, James Mann, who introduced the resolution to the House. So Illinois was first presidential elections east of Mississippi, uh, first uh, to introduce um, the resolution to the House, and then first to pass it, which we'll talk about later. All right. Well, thank you once again, John Lupton, for this great glimpse into history. And for this and more information, we would ask you all to subscribe to the Illinois Judges Association YouTube channel. Thank you.